hi my friends welcome to another exciting one today we are doing a protein or snack bar package from scratch it's going to be fun exciting and simple to follow along so open up your blender and let's go so as usual i have my blender opened i'm using the current version where you can follow along with any version that you have so i'll go to general to start with my default cube Let's select our lamp and then let's hit on X to delete it from our scene. Right now, let's scale down our cube in the Z axis. So I'll select my cube, I'll hit on S and then hit on Z to scale it on the Z axis to something like this. Right now, let's divide our cube into two. So let's hit on Tab to go into edit mode. Let's, let's add a loop cut right at the middle. So Control R and then we can add a loop cut right at the middle of our cube next let's go to our face select mode and let's select this face here let's hit on x for delete and let's delete the vertices right so we are going to mirror our cube on the y axis so that every edit we do here affects the other side as well so let's go to our modifier tab add modifier and let's look for generate and let's look for mirror modifier right so on the axis we are going with y instead of x like this okay so next let's select this face here and then let's use g to bring it out on the y-axis like this somewhere here right and then let's add in a couple of extrusions to finish the tip right so first i'll do e for extrude i'll extrude it here get further a bit and then we can do s and then scale it on the z axis so it looks like this right then we can do s to scale it out without to scale it out like this right so we have something like this so it's looking at like a snack bar package and then next let's scale let's extrude this tip to create the final tip of our package right so let's do e then let's extrude do something like this right so we have this next let's create that zigzag thing you see at the end of the package so we can do ctrl r to add in a couple of loop cuts here so let's scroll our mouse view to add in some loop cuts right here and then let's make sure we have our edge select mode active and then let's select each uh, every other edge at the tip here right so hold on shift select here then click so I'll be able to select every other edge at the tip like this, right? Now let's move them in or out to create that zigzag shape. So I'll hit on G for move and then Y so that I can move it either out or in. So let's move it inside like this. So I have something like nice like this, right? So our package is almost done. Let's hit on tab and then let's add in a subdivision surface to see what we have so far so i'll go to my modifiers tab generate and then i'll look for my subdivision surface right so this is what we have let's right click and shade our model smooth so this is what we have so far it's looking nice so let's go to tab and then let's add in a couple of loop cuts to bring our form to make it look even better so i'll do ctrl r scroll my mouse wheel up to something like this to add in a loop cut right here I'll add one loop cut here and then one here as well. So control R, add in a loop cut, and then control R to add in a loop cut, and then bring it closer like this. Tab out of edit mode, and this is what we have so far, right? So let's add in another loop cut to tighten up this bottom part as well. So tab into edit mode, control R, and let's add in a loop cut, and then let's bring it out to something like this. So I have this nice zigzag shape going on for us at the bottom of our package let's let's add in a little bit of detail at the middle here so let's tab into edit mode once again Control r and then click to add in a loop cut right at the middle and then let's hit on e so that we can straighten our loop cut to make it even and then let me click to apply our loop cut right next let's bevel this line to create extra 
um, loop cut so we'll do control plus p for bevel then let's scroll our mouse wheel five times to create five loop cuts five extra loop cuts right at the middle like this right next let's select our face select mode and then hold on alt and then click hold on alt and click to select this entire loop here then we hold shift alt click to select the loop at the middle and then click to select this loop once again let's extrude, let's extrude them inside so let's do alt e extrude faces along normals and then let's extrude them inside like this right so now if i tab out of edit mode this is what we have right it's looking nice and beautiful next let's uv unwrap it and then add in some materials and lighting if you're enjoying the video up to this point please don't forget to like and subscribe let's go so next what we have to do is let's apply our mirror modifier so let's go to our modifiers tab then let's apply our mirror modifier so now if i tab into edit mode we have this entire shape as one right let's add a loop cut right at the middle it's going to help us with unwrapping our objects later so let's do ctrl r then let's add in a loop cut right in the middle so we are going to use this to bisect our package into two so that we can be able to apply our label very easily next let's go to our uv editing tab to see how we can unwrap our model right so i'll select i'll hit on a to select everything and then u and then i'll hit on unwrap and this is what we have currently but this is not what we want so we are going to manually add in some seams and then unwrap our model again so let's go to our layout once again and then let's hit on tab to enter into edit mode and let's select the loop cut we just added so we hold on alt and then click on any of the loop cuts here to select the entire loop all around right so i'm going to go into wireframe mode so that we can see what we are doing so this wireframe mode so that we can see what we are doing right so once we've selected the entire loop all around let's try and select one side of the entire loop so we are going to try and deselect this side all together right so to do that let's hold on with our object selected like this right let's do let's hit on c to bring this this selection tool and then let's hit on let's hold shift and then we can simply click to deselect the places we don't want so once you're done you can just right click position your model in a nice position and then you hit on c again and then hold shift to deselect the places you don't want to select once you are done you can right click again and then we have this so we have this half portion of our model selected right in the middle so we are going to divide it right in the middle so now let's hit on u once again and then let's go to mark seam right so you can see that place is marked as a seam so it's the the highlight has changed to a bit reddish kind of highlight so now if you go to our uv editing once again then we select everything then we do u to unwrap you can see it's unwrapping differently right let's tab into edit mode and then let's do control let's select our model do control a and then we do scale right now let's go into our edit mode once again and then let's do u and then unwrap so that our uv will be unwrapped nicely like this right so make sure you apply your scale so this is what we have currently so now we can easily add in our labels and continue with our design right so i have a label prepared for you you can grab it in the description below but just in case you wonder how i'm able to design my labels to fit um i usually once i am done with unwrapping i'll just go to my uv and then i can export my layout right to a, a safe place and then i'll be able to get the right dimensions of my label let's add in our label so let's go to open and then go to location of where you save your project file you see we have a uv here i'll select it it's just a pdf psd file then i'll hit on open image to add in the image to our label right 
all we have to do is hit on a to select the entire uv, UV and then g and then we can position it in place like this so that everything is looking nice you'll not be able to see it in our our view right now because we've not added any materials to this so once we are done with the uv we know that everything is set let's quickly add in our materials so let's go to our layout change it to our solid view like this right then let's scroll our, our let's drag to bring to create a space here then let's change this from to our shader editor like this right and then let's create another space here as we usually do then let's hit on our camera to set our camera then let's change our render engine to cycles make sure we change the device to gpu compute and then let's hit on the render preview here so first of all we're going to make this um, setup simple let's add in as an hdri right so in our shader editor i'll change this from object to weld and then with the background selected i'll hit on ctrl plus t to add in an environment texture i'll hit on open and then i'll locate where i save my hdri i'm going to leave a link in the description in case you want to download some free hdri rights yeah so i'll select one any of them double click to import it into my scene so the hdri is going to help with our lighting right so i'll hit on my camera once again to bring my camera into view i'll tab n and then go to our view and then we can lock our camera to view right so that our camera is always locked in place next let's select our protein package let's change this from well to object and then let's add in our our material right so this we are not going to use our principal bsdf so i'll remove it from the stock socket then select it and hit on x to delete right so let's do shift a let's go to shaders and then let's add in a glossy shader right so we're going with a glossy bsdf shader and then let's plug it into our surface right then let's select our glossy shader and then let's do ctrl t to add in an image texture right so with the image texture let's click here and then let's add in the uv which is imported so i'll select on my uv and then you can see it will be applied beautifully onto our our, our material onto our model right so we, you see we have some black spots here here and there let's quickly solve that so let's jump back into our uv editing and then make sure everything is right within shape so let's s and let's scale it down a bit let's move it up right and then let's go back to our layout and then you can see that black spot there is gone right so now let's we can add in a bit of roughness to our liking and then maybe add in an estrophy a bit so that it feels like a plastic foil right yeah it's too much let's decrease it a bit so we have something very light you can play around and find what works best for you so basically that's it next what we have to do is add in some some backgrounds some backdrop and then we can finally render our scene right but if you want to take things to the last level we can go into our scope mode add in a couple of deformations here and there just to make sure just to make our package pop out a bit more adding a bit of detail so let's do that real quick so let's select our object and then let's hit on sculpt to go into sculpt mode right so with this tool selected just drag but don't overdo it because it might spoil your model so just drag a little bit of places just to create some randomness here and there and then you can choose the other one and then just drag here and there to create some obviously if you overdo it your model is going to um, get damaged so just be careful with it and then drag some few places here and there just to create some randomness and a bit more details you can select your cloth and then just drag 
to create some randomness here and there right once you are done with it go back to your layout and then let's finish up our scene right so next what we're going to do is add in a backdrop so let's do shift a and then let's add in a plane s to scale it up and then we can easily position our camera in our scene like this tab into edit mode select this part a to extrude on the z axis let's bring it up like this and let's select this ctrl b to add in a bevel tab out of edit mode right click and then let's shade it smooth right next let's select our camera change our camera angle i usually like bigger focal length so i'll go with 90 so that i don't get a lot of distortion then i can position it inside my scene so you can download a um, couple of hdris and try if you till you find what works for you so i'll go to my world then i'll change my hdri once again until i find something that works better for me right so i think i'll go with this hdri i'll select my model g and bring it up and then i can scale it down and then maybe i can rotate it into the scene like this Gee. so from here on what however you want to um your final scene to be is totally up to you you can have take your time and have some fun i'll go to my world object add a material to the backdrop and then maybe make the color a bit darker like that right so next you can select this shift d to create a duplicate shift d to create a duplicate right let me bring my backdrop down and then you can easily play along around play with it have fun double r to rotate it in my scene like this right so just play with it to you find what works best or what looks nice for you and you can always add in some lighting if you think your distance a bit dark so you can do shift a add in a light and then maybe add in an area light at the middle g c to bring it up and then maybe scroll it and increase the power of your light to 100 so that you can brighten your scene even more right and then finally we can add in some depth of field so let's select our camera come to our camera's properties and let's take depth of field let's select this and then let's select the first object as a focus object and then we can decrease we can decrease we can decrease the f-stop until the other objects are out of our scene and then finally you can set your render so how many samples you want i'll set my thousand a hundred for a quick render sample and then you can change your color management you can change the look to maybe a high contrast so i have a bit nicer and punchier image and then finally you can render your final image like this right. so that's it for today thank you very much for watching i hope you learned something from it it's been exciting and simple and easy to follow along enough if you have any question please don't forget to leave it in the description below or you can send me an email i'll be readily happy to respond please like and subscribe if you haven't see you on the next one it's my friend these are final results you can easily save it here go to save us and then save us jpeg or whatever you want just save your image so it's my friend see you on the next one peace out